I tried very much not to have any expectations coming in. Um, I've been hearing about IPF since I entered seminary three years ago and I've heard great things and I've been very excited about it. So my goal was to, to say, Lord, I'm not, I'm not expecting anything. Lord, I want to be open to whatever, whatever you want to give me through IPF. Um, one thing though that really stuck in my heart um, was a desire for, for very good spiritual direction um, and, and some assurance that they would, that spiritual direction would be very good here at IPF. And that has been met way beyond um, my expectations. It's better than I've heard, um, better than, uh, than I could describe. So far, IPF has helped to rejuvenate uh, my prayer life through the, through the classes um, and learning more of and being reminded a lot of the theory uh, in prayer and then diving into the eight day. I had some fear, uh, some fear in my discernment, um, some fear, some, some maybe holding on too much to the idea of priesthood. And God in His fatherly love has uh, helped me to grow, has given me growth and trust in Him uh, so, that I know that, so that I know that He loves me, um, so that I know that whatever he, ha whatever he has planned for me, which, which I think is priesthood, um, as we continue to discern and continue in formation, will be for my good and will be to help me to be a saint. In summary, the one word would be greater freedom. IPF so far, um, through their ministry, God has given me greater freedom, freedom to love Him and to receive His love and to go out and to love His people. People expect the priest to be an expert in the spiritual life nothing else. They go to the priest to find Jesus and to learn how to find Jesus. I mean, so, and that's, that's the point of IPF. The IPF gives us formation, uh, us seminarians and even some priests, formation um, and how to live in intimate, unceasing communion with the Trinity. That's the benefit. That's um, the joy of being a seminarian here. Um, and why I'd love to see every seminarian come and join us. To the laity, I say, please pray. Please pray for us, um, for the seminarians in the program. Please pray for, for IPF, for the staff, and please pray for the priests, our spiritual directors, and those who, those who are going through the priest portions uh, of the program. Because we do this for you. Like Ephesians 5 says that husbands, husbands love your wives as Christ loved the church laying his life down for her so that he, he may cleanse her by the water and the word and present her to himself. And that's the job of the priest for you, for the church, to lay down his life, to die for you. Uh, and that's what, that's what we're here for. Those of us who are seminarians who are, in a sense, engaged to the, ch to the church, who are in formation um, to receive Christ's bride as our own. Um, that's what we want to do. We want to lay down our lives for you so that we can present you, so that you can, so that you can enter in communion with the Trinity. So, so please pray for us um, as we're in formation. Please pray for your priest, especially your pastor and the other priests at your parish, um, and let them love you and let them lead you to Jesus.